Hundreds of students leave their homes every year to come to Canada to learn English. My name is Chikako Machida. I'm 39. I'm from Japan. They often spend double in tuition, not to mention traveling costs and living. I need to speak in English in my job, so I decided to come to Canada. Nowadays, I work at airline company as flight attendant. Speaking English is an advantage of changing my department. I want to be an administra administrative office. Now I'm working at, as a flight attendant, so I wanted to create new service to serve my customers. Chicago studies here at Humber not to only expand her English but to take other courses as well. Now I take English academic for preparation. The course means to enter the, enter the college before how to, about how to make a paragraph or how to choose the topic sentence. Pronunciation is difficult. They totally different. We don't have L and R sound, also TH sound. We need to speak in English to make business better, to find, business, uh, to find a job. As, especially younger people, young people as a student, need to speak in English, the English advantage of finding the, the job. She was cute when she first got here, <laughs> terrified, but she's definitely opened up to Canada now? Yeah, I think in Canada and Japan it's similar housing cost or living cost. In Japan, in general, it's more expensive. Every, everything is expensive. She has her own key to the house. We have no rules for her because she's over 18. So anyone under 18, we have to lay down ground rules, but with the adult program, we don't. So she has Really no curfew. I always use transportation, public transportation, to get school from house. I transfer twice time by bus. It takes me 14 minutes by bus. Chicago lives in the, our basement apartment, is what we call it, because it's a room, her own washroom, plus her own separate kitchen. And she majority cooks her lunches down there. Chicago spends most of her extra time at school studying, so she has her evenings free to contact family. I send an email, also I talk with them by Skype. Education in Japan focus on teach, focus on giving knowledge. We don't have a discussion session in class or debate session. English and Japanese is different structures. English, subject, verb, object. But Japanese, subject, object, verb. You would expect that being away from home for a year, she would have to postpone her life. But Chicago tells us otherwise. On anything, back to Japan, I will find a fiance, I will job again, and I had opportunity to promote my career to speak in English. I am happy with passenger meet in cabin because passenger is different type of people at me. We I can see many variety of people, for example politician or celebrity celebrity or president or business person or student. She explains that her life will continue once she is back in Japan, including some future plans. Uh, baby and you get married. She's helpful in the kitchen. She is hand, get her hands dirty. She wants to learn how to cook what we cook. So she's fantastic in the kitchen. But she does, when she does, she does make stuff for us. Chicago only has a few months left where she'll finish up her English studies at Humber for a long flight home back to Japan.